All right, guys, so Texcel's Extreme Z Awakening is coming very, very soon. And I've told a lot of you guys how um, I intend to kind of put a lot of my resources into units that will help me out uh, on these Extreme Z Awakening events. Because right now, for me, that's where I have the most fun is trying to challenge myself to see how far uh, I can get in all of these events. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to 100% the Intelligent Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta here because he is going to be one of the key units required uh, to actually beat uh, Texel's EZA. Being an int type on the future category, he will be essential. Now, what's interesting is he does have a direct upgrade in the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, but he's not on this category. Here, let's hop into an event, and I'll talk more about this. All right, here we go. So we'll go ahead and try Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta uh, on the future category team. So the intelligent Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, he's actually on three categories now. He's on the Realm of Gods category. He is on the Pure Blooded Saiyan category as well as the future category, right? But what's actually interesting about this guy is he's the only one of the Super Saiyan Blue Vegetas that is actually on the future category because that's, you know, the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta that was fighting against... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait, no, that's wrong. Uh, the Tech uh, Blue Vegeta, he's also on the category, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. The the, the Tech uh, Blue Vegeta also does have to be on there. The uh, Father, Son, Gallant Gun one. But those two, they're on the category because, of course, they were in the future uh, fighting against uh, Rose Goku Black, Zamasu, and then eventually uh, Mura Zamasu, right? So, it does actually create a situation where the Int Vegeta uh, will still be relevant moving forward, even though there is a direct upgrade. The AGL Blue Vegeta. He's definitely better on the Roma God team or Pure Saiyan team, but the Intelligence Blue Vegeta will still be very good uh, if you're going to use him on either the Super Int team or here on the Future team, because of the two Blue Vegetas, the Int one, uh, or at least... Of the two blue Vegetas on this category, the Int one is definitely better. Now, I'll probably have... Hmm. I guess I'll leave the TUR version of Goku Black right there. That's fine. And we'll let future Gohan go ahead and get a super attack. So, that's another reason why I didn't really mind rainbowing Intelligence Vegeta here. Is even though there is a better version of him to use on some teams like the Pure Saiyan team, right? This guy will still be good in Texel's EZA, or again, on like Super Battle Road, he actually could be pretty good because if you're going up against extreme type enemies, he does lower uh, their attack by 20%, which is a nice little debuff. I think I would have preferred uh, if like Vegeta maybe lowered all enemies uh, attack and defense by like 15%. That would have been a little better, but I think what, what they gave him is uh, perfectly fine. So, let's see how hard our boy uh, Blue Vegeta hits here. Now, the reason I'm showing him on the future category as well uh, is the fact that he is going to get that double 170% buff. Okay, 1.2 million. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Uh, I should actually get uh, Tech Vegito Blue linked up with him as well so they could get Warrior Gods. So, that would allow him to activate uh, a lot of those links. Uh, the only other one is Prodigies. What? I don't know if there's a unit. Ah, uh, Zamasu. Yeah, if, if I ran Zamasu, we could get Prodigies active. But I don't know that I really like running Zamasu so much uh, on a lot of these teams. Uh, the I guess the Int one is solid, right? Because, you know, he is able to heal. He does have some pretty good damage reduction. But, I mean, they, I think they went a little, they didn't give Int Zamasu enough love. Uh, he certainly could have been a better card. They, they kind of uh, bullshitted with him a little bit, I think. They made some of his, like, uh, like, like, his attack buff and defensive buff were way too low, considering, like, how recent of cards they are, right? Like, they only came out. Like, that's the Masu only came out with the SCR Rosé, Tech Vegito Blue and stuff, so. Hmm. Okay, this will be interesting. I could see how well Vegeta could defend uh, against a type disadvantage. Uh, I think the 
uh, Tech Vegito Blue event is still a pretty good event in terms of seeing, like, how uh, kind of effective a unit could be. So 1.3 million this time. Not bad, not bad. Again, another thing about Blue Vegeta is he does raise his attack for three turns on Super. So you can basically get that to stack once. Uh, that'll allow him to do a little bit more damage. Eh, that's, that's not bad, that's not bad. But looking at it, that's around the same number I was able to hit with uh, Tech Beerus. That's kind of surprising to me that Blue Vegeta is hitting about as hard as Tech Beerus. That does go to show like how underwhelming cards can become like godly just on the right team or in the right uh, situation or the right circumstances, right? Because of the fact that Tech Beerus now has a perfect linking partner, you're able to activate all of those attack links for him and he just looks so good. Like, whereas, ooh! Oh, okay, okay, wait, wait. <laughs> I For a second, I was like, what? I've never seen TUR Goku Black do that much damage before. But the reason is because uh, Goku Black does additional damage on this event. Uh, okay, so this will be a nice test for our boy Blue Vegeta. No way future Gohan one-shots him. Yeah, no way, no way, no way, no way. Uh, that is a super attack. Well, hmm, damn, I gotta get that. I wanted to get a super attack for Tech Vegito Blue as well, but that shit just ain't gonna happen, so whatever. Alright, so this will basically be the the strongest we'll be able to see Blue Vegeta. I, I, like, realistically, I think this is probably, like, uh, the links that you're gonna get active, right? Unless you're gonna bring uh, one of the Zamasus and get uh, Prodigies active. But, like, you know, in between something like Future Gohan or Tech Vegito Blue is probably uh, what to expect. 1.5 million. Uh, that's good. That's definitely good. That is definitely good enough. And then he crit for 1.3. That's not bad. I am very, very uh, okay with what I've seen from our boy uh, Blue Vegeta right here. Again, I think on Tech Cells EZA, he is going to be uh, one of the two like superstar units. I think the two units who are going to be absolutely phenomenal are going to be the Int Blue Vegeta as well as the Int Spirit Bomb Sword Rage Trunks. Uh, those two are going to be essential when it comes to actually taking that event down. Uh, I'm trying to think what other units could be very good. I suppose Int Zamasu, uh, just because he's an intelligence type, at least for reducing damage, but... I don't think uh, Int Zamasu is going to be doing a lot of damage himself, right? Because usually you'll get to a point where it will lower the uh, damage that an extreme type will do against an extreme type. So let's see. So uh, it, let me sort by type here. So Int units. We have Blue Vegeta, Rage Trunks. Uh, this Trunks is basically a Rage Trunks as well. This Trunks right here, huh? Woo! He does have a different name than the Spirit Bomb Sword Rage Trunks, this one. But I don't know. I'm not so sure I feel comfortable putting orbs into this guy right here. Or even my, because my stunning will not be useful. This in Super Trunks, this guy actually could probably be pretty effective in the EZA. But I don't have him at SA10 uh, and I don't have any orbs in him. I don't even have any dupes for him because of his status as a World Tournament card. So... This is interesting. Not a ton of units that are going to be really effective here. And I would imagine the secondary type that will be strong in Cell is Physical. There's always two typings. I bet Super Physical will be the other. So, ooh, Physical Vegito Blue, huh? Hmm. I wish mine was at 100%, but he's not. And then Future Gohan and LR Trunks. Okay, so those are probably the units that will be very effective there. Uh, real quick before we finish up, let's go over Blue Vegeta. This is Passion of the Warrior Race, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. His leader skill is Int Type, HP Attack, and Defense 100%, so fodder level at this point. His super attack is Pride of Our Warrior Race, which does immense damage and raises attack for three turns. I, I do like the raise attack for three turns. I think I'd like it more if it was a permanent stack, but it, it works out fine. You know, he is an older unit now, uh, well over a year. Let's see, this guy is about 18 months old.
because he came out in January of 2017. So a pretty old unit. Uh, his passive skill, Princely Pressure, is attack 100%, and then extreme type enemies get attack and defense minus 20%. That goes to show you, by the way, why future Gohan is a little underwhelming and why I've mentioned this. Some people kind of didn't understand what I was saying because like, oh, you know, Gohan hit 1.4 million attack. That's good. Why are you complaining? And it's like, yeah, but Gohan hits just as hard as in Vegeta, who's 18 months old. Like, that, that was a little weird. Like, obviously, Future Gohan does a lot more than in Blue Vegeta. Uh, and, you know, he has that fantastic leader skill. Future Category Team is great, but just a little surprising. Uh, a little surprising they didn't uh, make Future Gohan a little different. So, attack 100%, and then the extreme type enemies attack and defense minus 20%. That minus 20% will come in handy. Uh, mm, it won't work in Tech Cell's EZA, though, huh? Because those EZA events, they will be immune to all of that. Attack lowering, defense lowering, seal stun, all of it. So that's going to be worthless. Uh, and his links are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, Warrior Gods, Prodigies, Royal Lineage, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. So he does have a good link set, a fine link set, basically all we could expect. And 12k multiplier is 140%, which is fine. I would like it a little higher, but the reason it's not higher is, of course, uh, he does give that attack buff on his super attack. And then he's got the three categories. We have the Realm of Gods category, where at that point, the AGL Blue Vegeta is definitely a better option there. Uh, and that's a 150% attack buff. He's also on the Pure Saiyan team with a 130% attack buff. And of course, uh, the other, the AGL Blue Vegeta is actually the leader of this team. So you're never going to get to use Int Vegeta on that team. And then here, the future team, that's where uh, this Int Blue Vegeta is actually going to be able to come into play. Because he's on this category, and the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta is not on this category to uh, steal the thunder from our boy. So that's pretty good. This will be a good spot for a Blue Vegeta, and I probably will run him on the team uh, quite a bit because he's another prepare for battle unit, right? I probably will try and stick to mostly prepare for battle units for the future team. Uh, I think it'll cause it to run much more effectively than if I would like, like bringing Tech Vegito. You guys saw, like, you know, once he gets those attacks off, he is doing, like, 2 million damage and stuff. But a lot of rotations, he will miss that first super attack just because of the fact that no one else on the team has over in a flash. But, all right, guys, we'll go ahead and end it there. I do like the future category. I'll probably 100% raid Trunks as well uh, before heading into the te uh, Texel EZA, and we'll see how difficult it is. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch y'all next time.